What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. So the other day I was just kind of hanging around and I was like, oh, you know what? I haven't used Tinkaton yet and I also haven't done a lot of Showdown Lives recently. So I'm going to record a couple of Showdown Lives today, maybe get a couple of discussion videos going. I want to like have two videos a day, but I need to like prep them before I go to work during the week. So I'm going to be responsible today and get those done. And today we're going to use Tinkaton. If you guys enjoy this gameplay and time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And answer my question in the comment section down below. How would you use Tinkaton? Do you think Tinkaton's bad? I think it's bad. Uh, but I'm going to try to use it regardless. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. So basically, the gist of this team is it's a very standard Garchomp, Golden Go, and Murkrow uh, core. However, we're making sure that we don't lose to opposing Golden Go by having stuff like Rotom Heat and Tinkaton on the team. Tinkaton actually has a really decent special defense stat, and while uh, Make It Rain will still hurt because we don't resist steel without tearing, uh, being able to Rock Tomb Golden Go to lower its speed or go for knockoff uh, is really useful. Fake Out's also decently fast coming off of this guy as it's able to uh, outspeed the base 143s that are speed creeping to outspeed Dragapult at, not base 143s, the 143 Pokemon that are speed creeping to outspeed Dragapult at plus one. Uh, so that's very nice. Uh, it has a very fast fake out. It's immune to intimidate, uh, which means that we don't have to worry about our Gigaton hammer getting any weaker than it already is. Uh, but yeah, also I've invested quite a bit in the bulk because I think that if you're going to use Tinkaton, it's a support Pokemon with burst damage. Think Mousehold. Mousehold's a support Pokemon, not an offensive Pokemon, but it has burst damage. So we're going to do that. I'm running Rotom Heat to help me out with the Goldango matchup. Uh, I'm Terra Fire with uh, Levitate. Obviously, we have Will-O-Wisp, Overheat, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot. Just hitting that 143 speed tier once again uh, to speed tie with opposing uh, Pokemon that are hitting 143. We have uh, an even HP at 156, but I maxed it out as much as I could. Uh, put 4 and 4 into Special Defense and Defense and gave myself some 68 Special Attack. So, yeah. Uh, and it's just like a standard set. Uh, obviously, clear amulet, standard Garchomp, no rock slide I want to protect this time. Uh, standard Murkrow, I'm running uh, Icy Wind, however, I think it's just a very good move. Uh, while I won't have Taunt, I think that for the most part, indeed, he's such a powerful Trick Room user that it usually doesn't matter that much anyways. And finally, we're running a Focus Sash, Technician, Breloom, Bullet Seed, Spore, Protect, Mock Punch. I have not used Breloom at all, and as a matter of fact, I haven't tested this team at all. So, this is going to be the first time I'm using it. Let's see what we can do. But yeah, I, I need to like practice, uh, not practice, but I need to like use more teams on showdown when I'm like just testing them out. Like, and I need to, I need to like ladder on showdown because I'm not like that high on the ladder. I'm actually fairly low because I don't play that often on here. I mostly just like test a team and go, yep, I'm bringing that to the ladder. <laughs> okay. Uh, I really like the, uh, the Tinkaton lead here, uh, as well as do I want golden go? I think Rotom's actually like super good on this lead the more I look at it. Uh, it hard walls Sarah Ledge to an extent, as long like obviously Bitter Blade is like a fire type move, but Shadow Claw doesn't do too much. Um, yeah, that's not bad, especially if I like just, you know, nasty plot up. Yeah, I think we do these guys, and in the back, I'm gonna go with Murkrow Golden Go to clean up. Because I wanna make sure I like get rid of like, if it's like Terra Grass Sarah Ledge, I need to get rid of that before I do anything. Also, I haven't faced a Ditto at all, so <laughs> I, I just I don't want to let it do anything. I want to fake it out. All right, Murkrow plus Electros. Uh, this is fairly free. We just fake out and Thunderbolt. We don't let it get a Tailwind off. Actually, I don't even know if it KOs. If it's Focus Sash, obviously we're going to KO, but if it's like not, we're in trouble. Uh, Eevee Light, you know, it'll be able to Tailwind up. Flinch, let's see. I think it's Eevee Light. No, it's not. To go for a flamethrower i'm going to eat that up like reese's puffs uh and now we have a pretty decent speed control pokemon because we outspeed sarah ledge we outspeed i'm pretty sure we outspeed sarah ledge should i be outspeeding sarah ledge i think sarah ledge is going to pick up in usage 150 oh we should probably outspeed sarah ledge yeah yeah let me um you know you learn you learn a lot playing this game guys you learn a lot let's uh 151 there you go there you go all right I should also probably outspeed Golden Go. You know, we'll fix that after the game. Okay. Um, let me keep my Murkrow around. I'm going to Nasty Plot up because I'm not too scared of Sarah Ledge. And I think I'm just going to go for a knockoff into it. Yeah, I'm just going to knock off into it and Nasty Plot up. They Bitter Blade me. It's going to KO. That's fine. Didn't have much use for it at this point anyways. Bolt Switch. 
I feel like Terrifier is not that great for this guy. You go into Gardevoir. Uh, let's go with Murkrow here. And I think my play is just going to be to Tailwind up and try to KO Serilege. You can also Icy Wind, but mm, Tailwind's safer. Because like in the end game, I think Golden Go can probably make it work. Tailwind, Thunderbolt, almost a KO. Bitter Blade, it's going to do a decent amount. Um, we're going to get our uh, Citrus Berry though, and we should live whatever Gardevoir does. Yeah. In comes Golden Go. Uh, let's Nasty Plot here, and I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. And I think we just win with uh, plus two Life Orb, uh, whatever the move is called. Funny Move. That's what it's called, Funny Move. But I should always be able to Nasty Plot here, unless they're like Trick Room Gardevoir, and then I'm in trouble. Thunderbolt KOs, nice. And yeah, I don't see an out for them at this point. Uh, I think I always, I like always KO Electros, I'm pretty sure, from this range. So let's just Terra Steel, make it rain, and Thunderbolt into Gardevoir. Just in case it's Sash, I don't want to lose to like Sash. I love that they add an animation for this thing, and that's such disgusting damage, dude. Why is it so gross? Why is it so gross? Okay, yeah, I adjusted the set, right? I did. Let me think. Uh, let me check for Golden Go. I always forget what his max speed is. 149? Okay, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, okay, 151 is a good number. Okay, this is pretty cool. Looks like it's just like redirection plus Azumarill stuff. Um, I really like Berloom in this matchup, but it's a little bit scary if it's like focus, not focus, uh, if it's like safety goggles on any of these guys. Uh, Berloom lead with Murkrow looks very safe, actually. And I think I like my my good as gold, my good as gold guy, and not really a place for Tinkaton in this game. Let's go with Rotom, possibly Garchomp. Eh, Rotom, safe for Amoongus and uh, Scizor. All right. Yeah, I think I figured out how I'm gonna be doing like YouTube. Uh, going forward, because like now that I've grown quite a bit, I need to find a way to like keep it consistent without burning myself out. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload like stream highlights every day because I live stream like three days a week. Uh, but that isn't enough to keep like content like fresh, you know, I mean, no one wants to just watch stream highlights. So I think on Sundays, I'm going to record like three days worth of videos and then like record more videos on Wednesday when I have like extra time. All right, there's Berloom. Uh, I'm kind of scared of fake out, to be honest. So I might just protect here in Tailwind. Because I can haze the next turn, yeah. Let's protect and, uh, and Tailwind. See if they Thunderbolt me. Overheat, that's fine. Okay, uh, let's go for the... Ooh, I really hope you're not Taunt. They might call me out here. I'm willing to go for it. We're low ladder still. They didn't call me out. We're good. Spirit Break into the Murkrow is fine. And I think here, um, I just want to get rid of Rotom, to be honest. But, like, the Grimstar is also fairly scary. Maybe I get in my own Rotom, and I just go for, like, Bullet Seed into Grimstar for damage. Or I could Spore it. Let's just Spore it. Why not? I have Focus Sash. I just don't want it to do anything. And now I Nasty Plot up, and I can start dealing with you. It's all Bullet Seed. And this should hurt a lot. Um, we're Technician, so each Bullet Seed is 50% stronger. Three, oh, I only got two. What a shame. All right, let's see if he wakes up. I'd really not like to get Spirit Breaked. Okay, um, will Rotom stay in? Maybe. Let's Thunderbolt and Spore. Cool, stays asleep. He lives though, which is kind of annoying. But now I can actually just mock Punch it to finish it off and Nasty Plot again. Because then I don't have to worry about like uh, prankster stuff. Like, if it wakes up and gets off like a Reflect, like, I don't want to have to deal with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Rotom wakes up, but he lets me keep my Breloom, which I heavily disagree with. There's the Chomp. There's the Azu. Um, I think here, it's, like, always going to be my play to Terrastalize and Thunderbolt Azu. And let's protect my guy. 
That's fine. Because I get my Citrus Berry. Dragon Claw shouldn't KO me. Get rid of you. All right. Their Rotom's awake. I forgot if it was faster than mine or not. Let me think. How do I deal with this? Sorry, I have to check. Volt Switch. No, mine was faster, so I'm actually able to do this. Also, my Breloom may be faster. Um, I think I doubled their Rotom. And I like beat them with Tailwind Murkrow. Yeah, because Golden Go can totally take on Garchomp with Murkrow next to it. Let's do that. Uh, let's go for Terrifier Overheat into Bullet Punch. Or Mach Punch, I mean. And that should do it. Or maybe I just Spore, actually. Spore's probably safer. Unless they Rock Slide. Crap, am I going to lose here? Uh, Let me think. Maybe I Sack the Rotom and Protect Breloom. I think I do. Yeah, I get a double protect. Nice. Cool. Now I have Tailwind. And considering what they've clicked here, they may be Scarf Rotom? No, because they were able to switch their moves. Let's Tailwind up here. And I'm more concerned with the Rotom than anything, so we'll Spore it. We get the call right. Amazing. And now I actually just go for... Uh, let's go for Icy Wind into Spore onto Garchomp because that's decent damage, and then we can Bullet Seed Foul Play. They get a double Protect. That's deserved, I suppose. Icy Wind, Spore. This would just give me, like, permanent speed boost, unless it's, like, you know, actually, like, clear amulet guard job, which it might be. It might be. Who knows? Probably is. Oh, well, they went for it. Are you clear, Amulet? Nope, you're not. Okay, stay asleep with Rotom. Very poggers, very poggers. You're going to drop to this now. Uh, let's go ahead and go for another Icy Wind to make sure Gold Angle. Actually, no, I foul play here. I foul play here and I bullet seed the Garchomp. One, two, I'm going to explode. I'm going to explode. There's no way. There's no way that just happened. Okay, I have to dodge an overheat. Oh, why did you only hit twice? Why did you only hit twice? Okay. All right. Also, that might be Assault Vest Rotom. GG. Oh, that's so annoying. I literally just had to hit one more. Okay. Also, I thought it would just KO. It's Technician, dude. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Actually, it looks like a very decent uh, game for Tinkaton, because I can just spam Fake Out knockoff. Uh, obviously, you know, Fake Out might not be the best with this guy, but I think we'll be fine. Let's do... Do I lead off just Golden Go Murkrow? Doesn't seem all that bad. Um, I can actually do Golden Go... You know what? Let's do Double Steel. Let's just... Throw caution to the wind and lose if we predict wrong on the lead. Why not? This is 100% for content, because <laughs> I want to use the Tinkaton. <laughs> I want to use the Tinkaton, man. If they don't lead off with Ndidi, we're fine, though. Alright. Actually, no, I always lead off. If I'm going to do, like, funny Tinkaton lead, I do this. Uh, yeah. Okay, funny Tinkaton lead worked out. Uh, let's go for Fake Out onto Garchomp as well as a Will-O-Wisp. I don't really mind if they get their Veil off, because I'm, you know, I, I, I just want to burn it. <laughs> I just, I just want to burn it, nothing more. I think Rotom Heat's very slept on this uh, format. It's like, it's like good into a lot of things. Like, look at this lead. Look at this lead. Like, there's no way they like let the Abomasnow stay in, man. Obviously, they can go into Ndidi, and I just have to deal with it. You know? But I also can't go into my Murkrow to like save Tinkaton, so I just have to go for it. Arcanine? Okay, interesting. Are they going to go for Veil? Or a Water? Eh, I guess that works. Are they going to Terra Blast me? I'd be really upset. Aurora Veil. Okay. Um, how bad is this? It's not that bad, actually. 
Because I think I just go for knockoff into a Bomba Snow. And... Can I Nasty Block here? I'm like very scared of this Obama Snow now, to be honest. I'm like very scared. I don't think he's going to run Terra Blast because you need Blizzard and Giga Drain and like Protect. You don't have Terra Blast. You're just defensive. You just have a defensive measure. You've uh like Clay, yeah. You don't have Terra Blast. It's a bad move for you. He's got Terra Blast. But it's a bad move. All right. Um, I mean, I can't Terra to KO here. But what I can do is Rock Tomb you and try to KO with Thunderbolt. I just have to get damage off at this point. Yeah, he's going to snarl me. See how much this does. Probably not much. Ah, a decent amount. I might live, actually. Nope. Wow, I think I really freaked it here. How do I even get away with this? I can try to nasty plot up and like just counter sweep, but that's like going to be my only out if I get like five nasty plots. Yeah, let's go for knockoff and nasty plot, I guess. He went for Ndidi. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. If they let me nasty plot again, like I'm just good. I think they're just going to let me nasty plot, dude. I need Tangaton to go down is the only issue. Uh, Let's knock off you. I don't want a Bomba Snow to switch out for free. Okay. Air Blast. All right. Uh, it's time to start clicking the button. I'm going to go into Murkrow and I'm going to protect here. And I think I might be able to reverse sweep. It's going to be very close. It's going to be very close. So Rorvale runs out in three turns. All right, cool. Uh, let me Tailwind up. And I'm going to Terra Steel, make it rain. This is Life Orb. I only have a few of these I can click. So I have to make them work. This will definitely KO both of them. It's plus three. <laughs> like, we're good. But uh, yeah, I have to really save these guys. Garchomp, you're not eating this, dude. You're not eating this. I don't care. <laughs> this Pokemon's broken. Why would we allow this in any game ever? Why would we allow this in any game ever? Let me go for the uh, foul play onto you. And uh, another make it rain. We still have a, a turn of psychic terrain. I have to be scared of extreme speed though, obviously. For like the next turn if he like lives, which he should. But yeah, foul play looks like it'll do it. Yeah, I fake out foul play. Incredible. Incredible. I brought it back from the brink of defeat. I think that Nasty Plot Golden goes a lot better than Specs, to be honest. It's like super easy to like get away with it. Because it's a really bulky Pokemon. Like, look at the stats, man. 87, 95. Yeah, like you can get away with so many Nasty Plots with this dude if you like just do it. If you just like commit, you know, you're fine. All right. Um. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, this is a Tinkaton game. This one is a Tinkaton game, which it baffles me that that's a thing I can say. Uh, let's go with Tinkaton Rotom on lead. Uh, and in the back, I want my Golden Go because let's be honest, it's broken. And Murkrow. Just full special attack. Let's just get some KOs, you know? Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know what the Vaporeon's going to want to do. Maybe it'll, like, turn to Terra Electric and, like, have like, almost no weaknesses. I, I don't know. Uh, let's go for the... Do I Terra Steel here to Hardwall Golden Go and go for Knockoff? Is that really my play? No. Nay, it is not my play. Uh, I will go for uh, a Nasty Plot here. Oh, yeah, you're a silly little goose. You're a silly little goose, aren't you? Aren't ya? All right. Uh, yeah, there's no way Golden Go takes this now, so I'm actually gonna go for a Gigaton Hammer and a Grim Snarl, and I'm gonna go for the Terra Overheat, because he has, like, no switch-ins. I don't care if it's Garchomp or anything, it's, he's not switch- Vaporeon wouldn't take this hit. It just wouldn't. Well, at the very least. It wouldn't take it well, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it wouldn't take it that well. Yeah, check this out. 
Take this out. I'm gonna do like 50%. Also, you're gone. Oh, he's the berry. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Um, can I get away with this? I mean, I can go for a knockoff here. And I go for knockoff and nasty plot. Am I in that bad of a spot? Not really. I just honestly, I think I'm fine. Yeah, go for it. I don't care. Golden go. Knock off. Get rid of like leftovers. Nasty plot up. Back to plus one. Hydro pump. That almost killed me. Uh, let's go for a. I think I want to knock off golden go here. Actually, I can probably rock tomb it. No, I knock off first in the next turn. If I live, I rock tomb. Actually, no. Rock tomb's always the play. Now that I think about it. Because I outspeed it unless it's Scarf and I overheat. Hoggers. Check this out. Oh my god, this Pokemon's nasty. Dude, Tinkaton did a thing. Tinkaton did a thing, I repeat. Dude, call the police. Call the police. Tinkaton did a thing. Um, Let me go Murkrow. I think that's my play, because I do still have that burst damage. But if I go Golden Go, I can I can honestly win here if I get it, if I get it right. Let's try it. Yeah, no, I can win here now. Uh, let's go for the Gigaton Hammer into Grim Snarl and a Nasty Plot. Obviously, I've already wasted my Terra, which isn't that great, but it's more about getting the Nasty Plot off than anything. Uh, they could be like Yawn Vaporeon, I suppose, and they also haven't Terra'd at all. Get rid of Grim Snarl. This is like the Tinkaton game. If I lose, I'm gonna be a little upset. Ice Beam, don't freeze it. Don't freeze it. I'll cry. I'll cry. Okay. Uh, now I get in the Murkrow because I'm Eevee Light. I should eat the Ice Beam and I protect. They protect. They're going to Earthquake. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and now I Tailwind up and I actually go for the Vaporeon because they might protect Garchomp here. Terra Fire. Okay, that's fine. It's a like KOU. Go ahead and Terra Blast me, dude. Go ahead and Terra Blast me, dude. All right, check this out. You ready for this? You ready for this? I'm going to go for the Foul Play. Go for that Foul Play. The Fake Out. Do you even have Protect? If he doesn't have Protect, I'm in such a good spot. Yeah, no, I Foul Play him now. I go for Rock Tomb. Because I don't want him to lose Life Orb. This, this Foul Play is going to do a lot. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Rock slide, not even close, not even close. Okay, yeah, I win with, dude, we can win with uh, Tinkaton right here if I Gigaton Hammer. Oh, that was the Tinkaton game. You know what? You know what? I'm cool ending the video there. I, I don't care if we only use it on low ladder because I, I need a ladder up. I'll be real, I need a ladder up. Maybe I'll do a live stream on Monday where I like ladder up. Uh, but look, the Tinkaton, the Tinkaton did the thing. You know, the Tinkaton did the thing. I'm kind of happy with it. It's very fun. I might build this in game just because it feels reliable. You feel me? All right. Well, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, obviously, this is gonna be like a double upload video. So like, this will go up in probably like noon and then like the second. No, I think I'm gonna do like 5 p.m. and 3 p.m. I have to figure out what I'm uploading. Point is, this is gonna go up eventually uh, with another video after it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like in the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you want the paste for the team, join the Discord. It'll be in the team library. Have a nice one, guys. Bye.